Did you know that before 1950, 98% of homes in the UK didn't have a fridge? Now, it's hard to imagine our lives without them. Around the same time as the fridge was invented, another life-changing bit of tech was born. The heat pump. A heat pump is a greener and more efficient alternative to the gas boiler. Heating your home and your water using electricity instead of burning gas. How do heat pumps work? Let's go back to the humble fridge for a moment. The first demonstration of artificial refrigeration was in the mid-18th century when Scottish professor William Cullen boiled a bunch of ether until it evaporated. The ether gas absorbed heat from the surrounding air, making the air cooler. These days, fridges work by constantly transforming a refrigerant fluid from a liquid to a gas, cooling things down through evaporation. Heat pumps work just like a fridge, but in reverse. They're continuously pressurizing a refrigerant into a hot compressed vapor that can be used to warm things up. Even in the coldest climate, heat pumps can find little bits of heat to extract from the air. That's part of why they're so popular in Finland, Sweden and Norway, where around 60% of homes use heat pumps. They're about the size of an air-conditioned unit. Don't run on gas so they don't pollute the environment or fill your home with the harmful byproducts of gas combustion. Why are heat pumps important? Gas heating is one of the biggest contributors to climate change. In the UK, 30% of all household carbon emissions comes from heating. That's more polluting even than transport. A kilowatt an hour is what the average kettle uses to boil water for 30 minutes. For every one kilowatt hour of energy, gas boilers turn it into roughly one kilowatt hours of heat. Heat pumps, however, produce four times more heat from the same amount of energy. Right now, only 8% of UK homes have heat pumps, while 85% have gas boilers. The government is planning to ban gas boilers in new homes from 2035 to help end our dependence on fossil fuels. Time is ticking, but the good news is we have solutions.